Hello everyone, welcome back to Cloud Computing Series. In this video, I will explain the important questions solved when from unit 2. These are the important questions from unit 2. Let us start with the first question. Explain cloud deployment models that is public, private, hybrid and community which I have explained already in unit 1. Let us see once again. And the second question also I have explained in unit 1. That's why I will skip, skip here. The first question, let us start. Cloud deployment models. We have public, private, hybrid, commu hybrid and community. We have four cloud deployment models. Cloud deployment models describe how cloud services provided and managed, accessed. The four main deployment models are public cloud, private cloud, hybrid and community cloud. Let us start with the public cloud. I have already explained in the previous uh, unit one video that public means the best example is government bus. Anyone can enter into that. Anyone can use that. Hybrid means which is a combination of both public and private. Private means if you book a, book a cab for your ride, that is a private. In general, I'm telling the example for better understand. Here public cloud, the cloud services are available to everyone and owned and managed by third party cloud providers. Users share the same infrastructure, for example, AWS, Azure and Google Cloud. These are all the examples of public cloud. Advantages, we have advantages here in the public cloud. This is low cost because anyone can access it with the low cost, scalable and no maintenance. Disadvantages are less control and low security. There won't be any security here and less control compared to private cloud because in private cloud, you can see the high security and full control will be there. But private cloud, there is a disadvantage that is expensive to maintain. Private cloud, it is used by single organization only, which is private. The infrastructure is not shared with anyone else because this is private. It can be managed internally or by a third party. And the third one is hybrid cloud. The combination of public and private cloud, sensitive data stays in private cloud because it is a uh, both, it has both public and private. If the data is very sensitive, it will be stored in the private cloud. If the data is normal, then it will go to public cloud. Advantage is very flexible because if it is sensitive data, it can store in the private or else it will store in the public. So that's why it is very flexible, cost effective and secure also because we have private cloud as well. The disadvantages are complex to manage which data has, which data has to store in which cloud. Complex to manage that. Community cloud, shared by the group of organizations with similar needs. I have explained in the previous video also. For example, banks, government organization and research group, community cloud. Advantages are cost sharing, collaborative platform. The disadvantages are limited control and customization. They have asked, we have to explain with the diagram. Here, public cloud, anyone can access it. Private means it has only authorized person can access it. And it is for an organization. Hybrid means which has the public, the private and public, the both. Clear? Next question is what is service oriented architecture? That is SOA. Explain its characteristics. Service oriented architecture is a software design approach where the applications are built by combining small independent reusable services. Each service platform performs a specific task and communicates with each other services through standard protocols. Here the service oriented architecture helps in creating flexible, scalable and easy maintainable systems which is why it is supports cloud computing. These are the characteristics of service oriented architecture. Reusability which means services can be reused in different applications reducing development time and cost which can be reused that's why the it will reduce the development time and the cost as well losing loose coupling which means each service works independently changes in one service do not affect other and interoperability services can communicate with other with each other even if they if they are built using different programming language or platform which means the services can communicate with each other if they are different languages or different platforms. Discoverability. Services can be easily searched, found and used through service registry. And standardized protocol. SOA uses standard communication protocols like HTTP, SOAP, REST, XML and JSON. And the next one is autonomy. Each service control its own logic, data and functionality. And composability means multiple services can be combined to form larger applications or workflow. Here the multiple services can combined together to form the larger applications or the workflows. Scalability means services can be scaled up or down independently based on demand. Service contract, each service has a clear and well-defined interface describing how to use it. Security, SOA, the service oriented architecture supports secure communication through authentication, authorization and encryption. This is all about the service oriented architecture and its characteristics. And the next question is explain the relationship between SOA and cloud computing. We have seen the SOA in the previous question. What is the relationship between this SOA and cloud computing? We have to explain. We have so many similarities in SOA and cloud computing. Let us understand one by one. SOA provides the design foundation for cloud computing. Here, it will only provide the design foundation for the cloud computing. Here, cloud uses the SOA principles to build the services that are reusable, independent and discoverable. 
and cloud services follow the same service models of SOA. Here we have IAAS, PAAS, SAS are the cloud service models. Here in the SOA also these are the cloud service models. SOA enables interoperability in cloud. Different cloud applications communicate easily because SOA uses open standards like XML, JSON, HTTP and, and also SOA helps in integrating multiple cloud services. It, the organizations can combine services from different cloud providers using SOA rules. Cloud enhances SOA by giving scalable infrastructure. Here SOA services can run better on cloud because cloud provides high scalability storage and processing power and SOA increases reusability of cloud application. By SAA I can easily increase the reusability of uh, cloud applications. A service created once can be reused across many cloud applications and reducing effort and cost. I can use the, I can reuse the cloud applications by SOA which uh, decreases the effort and cost as well. Cloud supports SOA by enabling on-demand service delivery. Here I have seen that on-demand service delivery whichever you want only it will deliver that. Users can access SOA based, uh, SOA based services anytime without installing anything on their devices. Both supports loose coupling which means this makes system flexible and easier to update without affecting other services. Both the SOA and the cloud computing supports the loose coupling which is very flexible easier to update without affecting other services. And SOA improves the reliability of cloud services which is independent services can be replaced or updated without downtime. This is all about the relationship between SOA and cloud computing. And the next question is what are all the technology, technological drivers for cloud computing? Explain any four in detail. The technological drivers are the main technologies that support, enable and improve the cloud computing. These are all the technologies. Those will support, enable and improve the cloud computing. The technologies provide speed, flexibility. How they will improve the cloud computing means by increasing the speed, flexibility, the storage of the cloud computing and connectivity required for cloud services to work effectively. This is all about the technological drivers, how they improve the cloud computing. The important technology drivers of uh, cloud computing are virtualization, multi-core processors, service oriented architecture, web 2.0 and web 3.0, high speed networks, distributed computing, utility computing, big data technologies. These are all the, the technological drivers of cloud computing. They have told to explain any four in detail. The first one is virtualization. Virtualization allows one physical machine to run multiple virtual machines. Here it will allow only one physical machine to run on multiple virtual machines. It improves the resource utilization, reduce hardware cost and provides the flexibility as well. It helps cloud providers allocate resource on demand only. It enables the scalability and isolation between the users. This is all about the virtualization and the next one is multi-core processor. Modern processors contain multiple cores to perform many tasks at the same time. This is the advantage of this cloud computing that I can say because the modern processors can contain the multiple cores to perform the many tasks at the same time which will take only less time to finish the task and cloud data centers use the multi-core CPUs to improve the speed. Speed is improved because uh, many tasks are performing at the same time. That's why the speed is improved, handled many workloads easily and supports parallel processing and high performance computing, increases efficiency and reduces the power consumption as well. Service oriented architecture I have explained already. It breaks application into small and reusable services. Cloud uses service oriented architecture to deliver services like IAAS, PaaS and SaaS. It helps in integration, flexibility and reusability. It supports interoperability between different applications. And the fourth one is high speed networks. Cloud services depends on fast internet and network technologies like fiber optics, 5G and high bandwidth routers. High speed network reduce delay and improve the performance of the cloud services because the name itself high speed networks which will reduce the delay. Because the speed of the network is very high, it will reduce the delay and improve the performance of cloud services. It allows smooth data transfer. The data transfer is very smooth and easy. Video streaming and remote access easily. It enables real-time cloud applications. This is all about the technological drivers of cloud computing. And the next question is, explain multi-core technology and its importance in cloud computing. I have explained here multi-core processor. Here also the same thing I have to explain in detail. That is about parallel processing, high performance and multiple cores perform at the same time. This is all about, I have to explain in detail, parallel processing, multiple core process the different tasks at the same time, helping cloud servers handle many user requests simultaneously. At the same time, it will process the many user requests easily. High performance because cloud data centers run heavy workloads like big data and virtual machines, applications, multi-core CPU provides the required computing power at the same time. And better resource utilization because each virtual machine can assign separate cores to work separately simultaneously at the same time and improving the performance and reducing the delay of cloud users. 
there won't be any delay because scalability cloud providers can scale services easily because multi core processor supports more applications running together smoothly and the next one is energy efficiency multi core cpus perform faster using less power compared to single core processors this reduces the operational cost in large cloud data centers improved virtualization virtualization works better with the multi core processors because each virtual machine gets dedicated cpu cores increasing speed and stability that's why improved in the virtualization handles real time applications the apps like video conferencing gaming ai and analytics run smoothly due to multitasking power of multi core cpus these are all the multi core technologies and the importance of its in cloud computing whatever i have explained here just write it down in detail whatever you understood clear and the next question is what is web 2.0 explain its features and role in cloud computing the web 2.0 is the second generation of the world wide web where websites become interactive user friendly and community based web 2.0 is nothing but this is the second generation of the world wide web and the websites become interactive the advancements are interactive user friendly and community based in web 2.0 users can create share and edit the content easily it supports social networking blogs wikis and online collaborations also web 2.0 generated change it in internet from read only to read write it was only read only before now read write it was changed it from read only to read write the features of web 2.0 are user participation is there users can upload videos write the post comments and share the information and rich user interface which means websites look modern responsive and interactive using ajax javascript and dynamic content social networking the platforms allows user to connect chat which means uh, comment and share the posts as well build the online communities and collaboration many users can work together on the same document that is collaboration the project also they can work platform in real time they can work together in a platform in real time and taxonomy users can add tags to the content make it easier to reach search and organize web services and apps web 2.0 supports integrating of integration of services like login using google i can easily login using google right the maps payment gateways dynamic content pages update instantly without reloading giving a smooth experience to the users as well this is a dynamic content cloud based applications many apps run directly on the browser without installation that is cloud based application without installing i can use the apps that is cloud based apps the next question is in the same question they have asked you to explain the role of web 2.0 in cloud computing it enables the cloud based applications that is google documents online editor or cloud dashboards to work in the browser only without installing the applications i can work in that apps support saas delivery here software is delivers as a service through interactive web interfaces and improves the user experience in cloud services which is dynamic content and rich interfaces makes the cloud platform easier to use and encourages collaboration they can work together on a document or a in a platform they can work together that encourages the collaboration as well it promotes sharing and community based usages cloud application depend on user user generated content sharing and the team work it helps in integration api and web services allow the cloud apps to connect with the other online tools tools as well this helps in the integration and the next question is what is web 3.0 compared to 2.0 and 3.0 here web 3.0 is the next generation of the internet we have seen the next uh, web 2.0 this is a second generation of the worldwide but here this is the third generation the next generation of 2.0 and focused on decentralization blockchain technology ai which is advancement and giving user control over their data it's giving the control to the users only on their own data it enables smarter trustless and more secure online interactions the online interactions also very secured in the web 3.0 here uh, in the tabular column i can easily figure it out the web 2.0 and 3.0 it is controlled by centralized entities here the controlled by users only which is decentralized here the technologies are i have used html css javascript and ajax here blockchain ai semantic web and peer to peer this is the technologies i have used this is platform own the data the data is owned by the platform here the users own their own data and digital asset here it requires the intermediaries in web 3.0 it is trustless and trustless and verified by the blockchain here the interaction is on social media and collaborative it is intelligent interaction automated interaction and personalized interaction here the examples are facebook youtube and twitter web 3.0 examples are ethereum decentralized apps like d apps clear here the web 3.0 means the more advancements of the web clear the next question is what you pervasive computing explain its application in cloud environments the pervasive computers also called as 
ubiquitous computing is a computing paradigm where computing devices are embedded everywhere in the environment and work seamlessly to provide services anytime and anywhere it is a computing paradigm to provide the services anytime and anywhere in short and simple the goal is to make the computing invisible and integrated into daily life in the real world applications of pervasive computing in cloud environments are smart homes healthcare transportation retail environmental monitoring and industrial automation these are all the applications that we can see in daily life smart home means the devices like thermostats lights and security systems are connected to the cloud for remote monitoring and automation in healthcare wearable devices and sensor collect the health data and store it in the cloud for the real time monitoring and analysis we can easily analyze by the data transportation cloud connected to sensors in vehicle enable traffic management navigation and autonomous driving support in transportation also we use the cloud computing and next one is retail smart shelves and iot devices use cloud computing for inventory management and personalized customer experience environmental monitoring sensors collect the data on air water and soil quality and the and the cloud processes it for analysis and reporting sensors will collect the data of the environment and cloud will store it and process it and analyze and based on that it will report industrial automation machines and robots in factories are monitored and controlled via cloud based platforms for efficiency and predictive maintenance these are the applications that we can see in our daily life and the next question is explain the role of operating system in cloud computing how exactly the operating system works with cloud computing resource management which means the os manages the cpu memory storage and network resources efficiently for cloud applications clear oh, uh, the operating system only will manage the cpu memory storage network resources efficiently for cloud applications virtualization support cloud operating system enables the virtual machines and containers allowing multiple users to share the same hardware securely and the next one is security and access control which means it ensures the secure access to cloud resources through the authentication authorization and encryption by using these three things it will make it secure and access control process scheduling the operating system schedules the task and manages the workflow to ensure smooth execution of cloud services it can easily schedule the task and manage the workload <coughs> file and data management which means it handles the storage retrieval organization of the large amounts of cloud data easily network management the operating system manages the network connections and communication between the cloud servers and the clients as well <coughs> that's why it is very easy network management is very smooth fault tolerance and recovery it it monitors the system failures as well and provides the mechanisms for recovery it will recover that fault that's why fault tolerance to maintain the cloud service reliability these are all the the roles of operating system in cloud computing and the next question is what is a application of environment explain its components and examples an application environment is a platform or framework which provides all the necessary tools services and infrastructure to develop run and manage the software applications efficiently it ensures the applications work consistently across different system which means it is a platform it will provide the necessary tools services infrastructures together why is it providing means to develop run and manage the software applications efficiently and it will ensure the applications work consistently which has to work continuously across the different systems the components of application environment are hardware resources which is the physical device like server storage and network infrastructure required for running the applications operating system which manages the hardware resources and provide the basic service to the applications middleware software that connects the applications with databases network services and the other tools for example servers and message brokers as well runtime environment the libraries apis and frameworks that allows the application to execute properly and development tools idi the compilers debugging tools and use it for building applications database system that manages applications and data efficiently for example mysql and mysql and mongodb security components are authentication authorization and encryption mechanisms to protect the applications examples are java ee for the enterprise application dot net uh, node.js and cloud platforms like aws azure cloud uh, google cloud providing complete application environments and the next question is explain soa web 2.0 web 3.0 and multi code technologies together support cloud computing here i have explained about all these in the previous questions in detail and these technologies together make the cloud computing flexible interactive intelligent secure and high performing meeting modern computing needs also this is all about the unit 2 important questions solved you can easily access this notes by clicking the link below i have provided and if you found this video helpful then subscribe to shoe page world for more videos like this and share this video with who are struggling in the cloud computing if you want me to explain any particular subject or topic comment below and let me know and one more very important point based on the question marks only you have to write down the answers clear thank you very much for watching see you in the unit 3 video of cloud computing